Well, hey, church family, we are so excited to be back with in-person worship services with limitations. So what we want to do right now is just give you a brief video that will help you walk through the steps to going to church in person. Step number one, it's gonna happen long before you ever come to church on Sunday. You've got to RSVP. Remember, RSVP is required. Just go to westsidebaptist.org slash open. Click on the service that you wanna attend. You can RSVP through Eventbrite. If you don't know how to use Eventbrite and you're struggling with that, just give us a call and we would love to help you with your RSVP. But that's step number one. Step number two is going to happen on Sunday morning before you even walk out the door. What we want to make sure is that you feel okay. If you're feeling sick in any way, we want you to stay home. If you're feeling uneasy, maybe you feel like, well, what if I'm sick? I don't know. Well, you can always just check your temperature. Find a thermometer in your house, check your temperature. If you're not running a fever, that's a good sign. But if you're feeling well, we want you to assess your physical health before you walk out the door. That's step number two. Step number three, just before I walk out the door, I want to make sure I have two things. First of all, I want to make sure I have my Bible. We're going to be in person, worship services, we're studying God's Word, worshiping together. I want to make sure to bring this thing. The second thing I want to make sure I have, and this is very important, is my face mask. Face mask will be required for everyone over seven years old. And so if you're over seven years old, which you probably are if you're watching this video, then you need to bring your face mask. Step number four, I'm here, I've got my face mask on, got my Bible in hand, I've got my coffee because there's not gonna be coffee here. And the first thing I'm gonna do when I get here is I'm gonna make sure I'm here on time, which is 15 minutes early. So step number four is show up 15 minutes early. Step number five, when I arrive, I'm gonna check in because I already RSVP'd, remember step number one? I'm gonna check in at the orange tent that currently is not here. But come Sunday, it will be here. So I'm gonna check in right there. Step number six, I'm gonna come in through the main entrance on the right hand side. And I'm gonna have this friendly partition here reminding me that I'm on the right side. So if the partition is to your left as you walk in, you're doing a great job following step number six. Step number seven, you're gonna say hey to your friends, but from a nice social distance. Step number eight, you're gonna come into the worship center and find a seat for you and your household. Now, when we say that, we mean only you and those who live with you. So find a seating arrangement that works best for you. You'll find that our worship center is set up for different size households. So if you have two, sit in a seating arrangement of two. If you have three, sit in a seating arrangement of three, so on and so forth. Find that perfect spot for you and those with you. Step number nine, we want you to worship. We're so glad to be back in person. Spend this time worshiping the Lord. Step number 10, if at any point in time during the service you have to use the restroom, we want to make sure you listen closely to instructions given by those on the platform because there are specific restrooms for specific services. So we don't want you going into a restroom that isn't for your service. Step number 11, the last step. Once worship is over, you're gonna exit, but we want you again, listen closely in the service to where you're supposed to exit because there are specific exits for where you're sitting in the worship center. But it's been a great time in worship. It's now time to leave. We're gonna exit out the doors that we're told to leave.